Welcome to my channel, Data Driven Decisions. Today, I finished writing a Python script that automated all of the initial ETL that I had to do in my personal finance ecosystem. You know, beforehand, I, um, you know, most of my work starts in, in Excel. And uh, to bring that into BigQuery initially, I had to turn each sheet into a CSV file, get it in the right format then um, import it into cloud storage. Then in BigQuery, had to manually drop the table, the, in, the initial table, and recreate it off of the new cloud storage CSV file. So that was the manual jobs that I had to do every time I wanted to update the data. But now all that manual process is gone, which I am very happy about. How did I do this? I used Python to do this. I used Python to um, to import the the raw files exactly as they are and uh, manipulate them as minimal as possible, just so that I could uh, get get a consistent table um, to BigQuery. And um, I did all the other remaining uh, manipulation in BigQuery. And I didn't have to do much. So the only uh, necessary thing was to get the the Python table in the exact same schema as the input CSV file. And um, you know, I just had to make sure the formats were the same. The whether it's a string or integer or numeric or float, just had to get that right, and then um, just rename the columns. So. Um, I got all that that finished and let me share my screen and I'll show it off. So here's what the new solution looks like, um, the, the pipeline. Um, you know, there's really four big tables that I'm using um, in this personal finance ecosystem. Um, the mint transaction table, which is a CSV file, which is old, it ended in January. It's just a stale CSV file that um, I already have transformed all the way I want and I never have to touch it again because the data is never going to change. So uh, that just was kept as is. I have the personal capital transaction table. That's a CSV file um, that, that I get out of personal capital. And then um, directly in my, in this, in this sheet or workbook right here, I have a monthly finance Excel sheet, which you see right here. And, um, and then I have the monthly budget Excel sheet, which is right here. And those are the, the four ingredients to um, the, the Power BI. And uh, what I just did today was I uh, went into Python, um, and this is steps between the input tables and BigQuery, and I wrote a script that automatically uh, loaded these tables uh, transform them in a way that they could be brought into BigQuery. Um, you know, I had to do things such as delete rows, make um, the second row the field names, delete columns, uh, turn certain fields into other formats. Um, and I had to, you know, um, you know, I didn't want to do uh, any further transformation. I want to do that in BigQuery. Um, once I'm into BigQuery, now I have all the tables that um, I had before, just in a semi-different format that I just wrote a script to transform it to exactly what the um, the CSV files were. And that was really simple. In doing that, then all the uh, subsequent code does not have to be changed. And, and that was the case for me. So, um, you know, nothing really changed in BigQuery. I just had to wrote a few uh, new SQL scripts just to do some transformation. Um, but every, everything else stayed the same. And then in Power BI, I have uh, these three input tables. And it's not just these tables. I have about 20 tables in Power BI. I, I pick um, especially the monthly finance and the monthly budget table, and I transform them into different sorts of schemas. Um, some, sometimes a time series, sometimes columnar, um, where um, you know instead of very wide tables, you turn them into very long tables. I have a star schema data model. 
Um, so yeah, so you know in in Power BI, this is what the data model looks like, and um, most of these tables are coming from BigQuery. Some are directly from the Excel file, and um, I do do some the transformation in Power Query, but um, the the very important tables are all in from from BigQuery. And uh, you know, there's quite a few many many tables, all very connected to each other. Um, you know, fact tables with dim tables. So um, you know, everything in this data model can work off of each other, and that's really beautiful. And I have that going on in many of my dashboards, especially um, this new um, overview one that I'm working on, which already has seven pages and. Um, it's a quick scanner. It works really great on a phone. These 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 links right here are easy to get to, and it's there's only one filter which just hones in on the month. And uh, this is just a great overview dashboard to really scan through everything uh, in the personal finance ecosystem. Um, so going into Python, uh, this is really the work that I did today, and I got it all um, commented and clean. It's just a single script. Um, it's got four components to it. One is just importing libraries. The, th the second component is the monthly finance Excel file. Um, I talked about this in an earlier video. I just, you know, every step runs and it never has to be changed. Um, the code is built so that um, as, new, as new fields come in, um, it all should still work. Um, here's the third component, the monthly budget Excel file. Here's all the uh, transformations that I had to do along the way in order to get it into BigQuery, which is the final step. And then lastly is the personal capital transaction table. Once again, this is just where I loaded as a CSV file. Um, you know, do some transformations, mainly uh, the format of the columns, and just load it into BigQuery. So. Um, you know, uh, next step would could be to uh, paste this into the GCP realm um, using Cloud Scheduler and PubSub. Um, but, um, you know, this really isn't fully automated. I don't need to run it on a scheduler. I, I, I really want it just to be able to open, hit a run button just like this, and have the whole script run. You know, that takes away a lot of, uh, thinking on my part, no more manual updates. It's all just a matter of going into Visual Studio Code, opening this up, Danny Finances, and then just running it. So this is step one of the ETL process. Uh, yes, it's not fully automated. It's not scheduled. Uh, reason being is who knows when I'm going to update my Excel files and um, and when I'm going to manually uh, export the CSV out of personal capital, that's not going to be automated ever. So um, this can't be automated on a scheduler. It, it, the best option is it just to fully run off one click of the run button. And that's what it did. It all just ran. Here's a terminal. I, you know, I'm printing a lot of things, but that's just all the steps that helped me get to the end result. And these white bars represent the successful export to BigQuery. And there's three of them, one, two, uh, three. So um, yeah, that's that. And that, so that's step one of, of the ETL, the Python. And then, um, you know, in, um, in BigQuery, uh, I didn't have to do much transformation, for instance, for like the personal capital transaction table, the process of getting the Python table to look like the input table is just this simple code right here. It really just had to do one thing, uh, you know, cast the date as a date field. It was a date time. Um, you know, that is all I had to do. Um, I had to do this similar thing for monthly finance. Um, you know, this code right here uh, is code I had to, new code that I had to write just to 
get the Python table to look exactly like the input CSV file was. Thereafter, all the code that comes after is the same. Uh, nothing had to change. And the same went for the monthly budget table. Um, I inputted this code right here, just a simple uh, changing from the Python names to the input CSV file names, and those won't ever have to change. However, every time um, I add new rows or new fields, which represent new months, I do have to um, manually add this code um, here and down below where I turn it into columnar, you know, uh, you know, transpose the data. I'm going to have to change this code for every new month. Um, there's no way around that. Um, um, in SQL, you you know you can't write uh, loops to do that dynamically. Maybe I could do it in Python, but um, I want to keep it in BigQuery for now. And uh, you know everything with Power BI ran, refreshed successfully. Everything looks the same. So just a great addition to this personal finance ecosystem. Now I have um, uh, I have it you know, much more automated. I took out the manual uh, table uh, ETL steps and uh, using Python, got all that to be fully automated. And instead of doing um, about 20 minutes of grunting labor uh, per, per refresh, I just have to go in Visual Studio Code and hit the run button. And uh, I feel really good about that. So, um, Thank you for listening. That's this. That's that for um, today. And uh, stay tuned for more.